Welcome to my channel. I want to tell you why I created this channel and more about it so you can figure out if it makes sense for you. When I was a consultant, and even more so when I was working with customers at Microsoft, I found there was a lot of anxiety and people were worried about how to ramp up their skills. There's lots of legacy technologies that people have been working with for a long time, like SQL Server on-prem and programming and various you know, things that have been around a long time. And taking your skills and bringing them into the new age is daunting and scary. And I get that. And I saw it with a lot of customers. So realizing that people needed help, I started this channel. And my goal is to, one, show you how much fun this stuff is and make you realize it's not bad. It's actually pretty cool and fun and you can enjoy it too. But the first step is dispelling the fear. How do I do that? By taking these complex things and simplifying them. So I might be comparing uh, the Apache Hadoop ecosystem to my kitchen drawer or Azure Data Services to my golf bag. But by using these kind of goofy but effective analogies, I think, you'll find that it's not bad. And in fact, a really better way to approach it is like a child on their birthday or a holiday where they get all these presents and toys. You ever notice that they don't have a problem learning all these things? They figure it out. They master your phone in 10 minutes because they're excited and it's great. So let me tell you about my channel in a little more detail so you can see if it fits what you're looking for. So I talk a lot on my channel about Apache Spark. And Apache Spark was actually written by the people who created, uh, founded Databricks. And there's a lot of connection between them because Databricks is really a user-friendly wrapper around Apache Spark. Now, what is Apache Spark? In case you don't know, it is a open source, big data and supporting data science uh, environment or platform. So it's the most popular on the planet for doing that. And Databricks is a sort of cloud implementation that allows you to do that much more easily than if you use the open source version alone. So I'll talk a lot about that. But another thing I talk a lot about on my channel is Python and R. These are the two most popular data science languages. And Python is a more general purpose language, but they both are awesome for any kind of data analytics and data science. So I talk quite a bit about both of them. And of course, the cloud. This In this day and age, you need to prepare to go to the cloud. It's happening and it's accelerating. So you want to be ready. You want to know how to do that. And I'll tell you how. I actually had to do it very quickly in my consulting work. And I discovered it's actually a lot more fun and easier than I imagined. So I'm going to try to help you with my tricks and secrets as well. And I also have a lot of history with SQL Server. So whether it's on-prem SQL Server or Azure SQL in its many flavors on the cloud, I'll talk about those things as well and help you understand how to leverage that. And finally, I have a love of PowerShell. I had to learn this on one of my consulting projects and I got so excited I wrote a book. So I got really into it. But in my use, I delve into it in a very programmatical way because my original background is as a developer. So I like a lot of reusability and configurability, etc. But my main goal is usually some sort of automation of tasks so that I don't have to do things the hard way. Also, I left Microsoft a little under a year ago to write a book because again, in the same way as I saw people struggling with the digital age, people were struggling with Databricks, in particular Azure Databricks. They didn't realize the power and really simplicity of how much they could do with this platform. So I wrote a book that gets into the details. It's a use case, step-by-step -step kind of thing that takes you from zero to hero, you know, novice to expert by the time you're done. And it's so rich with details that even experts can get a lot of good information out of it. Prior to that, I wrote a book called Pro PowerShell for Database Developers that honestly is the most in-depth, comprehensive book on how PowerShell works, on configuring it, on how you can use it to write script modules and functions, and all kinds of good stuff. So take a look at those if you're interested. But that also gives you a sense of the kind of background I have. This stuff is all fun to me. It's really cool. And I want to share that with you. So join me on my journey. Thank you.